More than 50 million people in the U.S. know the feeling of chronic pain, and for nearly 20 million, it causes significant limitations in work, social life, and personal care. Yeah, and athletes, pain from injury, it really sidelines them. But now a local doctor from Tulane has a new quick treatment that is helping one of the causes of pain. For pro and college athletes, having your body in elite performance shape is game changing. Something as common as a hamstring pull can be season ending. Bring your leg up, hold it tight. That's what happened to Brother Martin graduate and now Cornell senior defensive end, Noah Labe. I was running full speed and I felt a pop in my hamstring and then mm. kind of went down. I got back up, but immediately I knew something was wrong. The normal timetable for hamstring injuries is typically six to eight weeks, but sometimes these injuries can can linger for months and sometimes years and sometimes their career ending, unfortunately. So Noah came to see Tulane sports medicine physician, Dr. Jacques Corso. Through his years of research and treating injuries in athletes and pain in non-athletes of all ages, he's come up with a cutting edge 10 minute office procedure that has a very high success rate on hamstring injuries. In our experience, most patients get back to play within three or four days, certainly within a week. So this is a one time thing? In most cases for hamstrings, we're highly successful with it being a one time treatment. Dr. Corso discovered that throughout the body, pain's not coming from an injury inside the muscle, but rather from the fascia. That's the thin casing of connective tissue that holds organs in place. It's sensitive, full of nerves, and damage over the years forms scar tissue that tightens and sticks to the muscle. He was the first to publish his scientific findings. We actually had like an aha moment, and it turns out there were patterns in hamstring injuries, but also in injuries from neck pain to back pain to quad pain, calf pain, etc., in which the fibrotic or fascial planes were tight, adhesed, or inflamed. Using ultrasound, he can see the inflammation in red. It guides him where to inject each patient's custom mixture of medication. It's called hydrodissection. You can see the stuck fascia separate right before your eyes. It's definitely way better. Noah was running and practicing the very next week. But as soon as our athletes and non-athletes alike get off the table, they feel better in most cases immediately. The anti-inflammatory medications and local anesthetics in the injection can also help keep the fascia from re-sticking again. So we have athletes that fly in uh, professionally and collegiate and high school athletes that come in for these one day treatments and fly back home uh, because it is such a highly specialized procedure. One of those athletes is former LSU pitcher Eric Razelman, who now plays in the major leagues. You were told hy um, hydrodissection. Had you ever heard of that? No, no, I have not. I mean, it was a completely new thing to me. It helped me out a ton. I ended up going back to him multiple times, you know, just for maintenance and help me get through. Instantly, you can see the inflammation in red on the shoulder muscle of his pitching arm is gone. How much more quickly did you get back into the game? Oh, man, it was unbelievable. I mean, I was back. I was back in three days. You know, I, I, had, I had the injections on a Monday after a weekend series, and I would pitch on Friday. We're focused on left-hand usage on the left side. Former LSU forward and now WNBA player Teresa Plaisance gave the Sacred Heart basketball team some pointers and showed them her diamond-studded championship ring with the Las Vegas Aces. Now, she had a back injury that wasn't healing fast, so she also got the injections. You just saw the red fizzle the orange, yellow, and just fade out. And it was absolutely incredible. And I'm 31 years old. I feel better than I did when I was playing at 26. Dr. Corso also diagnosed her with Ehlers-Danlos syndrome, which makes her joints more hypermobile. Now with my new knowledge of why I'm not healing as quickly as other people. And I also have to start training differently. I'm, I'm not allowed to back load anymore. I'm not allowed to put anything on my my shoulders to where, you know, I'm compressing my spine. And Dr. Corso discovered many athletes like Eric and regular patients with pain have joint hypermobility and another genetic condition. Probably most athletes have a vitamin deficiency that can lead to potentially increased scar tissue or fibrosis in muscles over time. He believes a special over-the-counter B vitamin can help lower the injuries and tight painful fascia in the future. 
At the Fascia Institute and Treatment Center at Tulane, he's also using this hydrodissection injections to help patients with knee replacements, shoulder injuries, and even those with brain fog after a concussion. He's found it's from tight fascia impinging nerves in the neck and head. For now, this simple procedure for athletes means they can stay in the pro game. And for the average patient with pain, it means an easier time in the game of everyday life. Meg Farris, WWL, Louisiana. In some cases, health insurance pays for the injection, but not all companies are on board yet, so you need to check your insurance coverage.